raining really heavy. So thank you so much here for coming. MFN 11 welcomes you all. So big round of applause. First of all, we're back in Delhi, everyone. All the fighters, all their friends, the entire training team. I'm going to introduce this entire panel to you on stage. And a simple situation will happen. There'll be an opening address. And then after that, you have to ask all the questions, all the questions you want to ask, please go right ahead. So Daniel Isaac on the extreme left there, he's from GAMF, uh, the federation that has been, you know, one-on-one -on -one with MFN. So big round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on the other side, Alan Fernandez, coach, the director of MFN operations. <laughs> Shrikant Sekar and John Mitchell, the co-main event. Shrikant and John on this side. <laughs> Seth Rosario sitting right next to Shrikant. And on this side, Darkhan Beck, Ergashov, a big round of applause. That's the main event, ladies and gentlemen. And right in the middle, Krishna Shroff and Aisha Shroff, the heart and soul of MFN. My name is Salil, and I've been involved for so many years now with it, so it's my greatest pleasure once again to be part of this entire setup. And to start things off, I'm going to ask Aisha ma'am to say a few words. It'll be the opening address. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, it's a very special occasion, and uh, as Salil said, thank you for braving the rain. Very unexpected. Uh, super happy to have you here. Uh, we are privileged to be in the company of India's top fighters tonight, and uh, as well as uh, two guests from overseas, uh, from Ireland and Kyrgyzstan. So please give them a big round of applause. Um, without further ado, I think we should uh, open the floor for questions. You just raise your hand and then we'll go ahead with the questions. Yes, on the extreme left there, Manan. Uh, can somebody just give a mic? We have one MFN contender event per year. Uh, the plan is to take this up to four. Uh, we currently have four major MFN fight nights. The plan is to take this up to eight. So uh, the point is that we want to have the best fighters of the country signed to MFN. And uh, it's not just about having them signed to the promotion. It's about giving them multiple fights per year. That's what really matters. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan going forward. And we're working towards that. Wow. So the action literally doubles. Yes, absolutely. Did you just say that the four MFN events that happen every year are going to turn into eight. That's right. Wow. That's, That's right. That's amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. That Thank is you. the best news that any one of us could have heard. Fantastic. Pura floor, Gulai, please go ahead. Yes, Rahul. I'm just going to give this mic on this side as well. So can just someone come and take mine as well? Yeah. So my question is to uh, Krishna. Now, this is the second time on Hot Star. What are the major changes you've experienced in terms of overall show ever since MFN 10? Yeah, so MFN is extremely grateful for this partnership with Hotstar. Um, you know, with Hotstar comes more visibility for us. I believe everything has its right time, and I believe this is the time for MFN to be seen even more by everyone. Thank you. Yes, uh, so the mic is right there. Manan, just go right ahead. Yeah. I have a follow-up question for Krishna. The vision that you started with, and now 10 shows later, what would you say, are you on track of achieving that vision, and how is the future shaping up? Could you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, you guys are seeing the vision. Uh, I'm so proud of Matrix Fight Night and everything it's been able to achieve in such a short period of time. You know, four years is not a lot for a promotion. Um, and two years were taken off due to COVID. Uh, so extremely proud, and it, it was only possible with, you know, our extremely resilient team. Um, I believe our traje trajectory is unmatched, and this is only the beginning. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So now, since we are talking about uh, Disney Hotstar, uh, this is my question to Coach Allen. So, Coach Allen, in the previous pressers, we've been talking about OTT, we were talking about uh, title belts, we were talking about FIRA events. Now, we've seen it all. We've got Disney Hotstar, we've got uh, the FIDA event, which is MFN Contenders, 
and we've got the title fights. Now, I want to ask you that what other surprises do you have in store for all the MMA and MFN fans in the country? I think uh, ma'am already let the cat out of the bag. We have eight events a year, that's the pro fight nights that we will be having. And uh, as far as the contender or the feeder shows that are there, they're, they're going to double up to four. Not really double up, we did one last year, it's going to be four times more. Thanks, Salil. So that's what we have. And other than that, there'll be a lot of international flavor. You see the gentleman sitting right next to me and the gentleman next to him. So that's only going to get bigger and bigger. Probably we'll need a bigger press conference arena with a lot of international flavors giving a run for their money to all the Indian athletes as well. So that's the surprise. No more anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, Rahul, one sec. For members of the press that probably don't uh, are joining us for the first time also, so our four MFN big fight nights happened, and the last one also happened in, in Dubai. And the feeder events, yes, that is where all the contenders, you know, so we have a fight card, there's an undercard and there's a main card, there's a co-main event and there's a main event. So that is how the demarcation is done. And that's the reason why uh, they're asking what is going to happen to that. So what your undercard wali fights said, those have come from the contender events. Just to sort of explain a little bit there. Yeah. Right. Hello. So uh, another question to Coach Allen. Uh, MMA is getting popular in the country and across the continent. Now, we see a lot of foreign promotions eyeing on domestic talent, but then they fail to pick the, the best talent and, and the right talent. However, what we see at MFN is we've got the best talent from India and outside. What, what is your say on it? Well, exactly. We have the best of the best at MFN. And uh, there won't be a, it won't be too long that you'll see the international fighters also flocking into MFN because the ecosystem, like Krishna said, we built it in such a way that we want the fighters to be comfortable for the fight. And uh, when I say that, you know, for everybody who doesn't understand what it takes to be a fighter, there is a process when the fighter lands at the airport right until he enters the cage. If you don't make the fighter feel comfortable enough to enter the cage, the fights can go either way. And um, I just had, I had a brief chat with John also. So the things that happen around the world uh, where fighters are treated, the way fighters are, you know, taken into promotions when they don't know what, they, what to expect. MFN has laid out that plan very, very clearly. So the day one a fighter enters or rather signs a contract with MFN, they know what they're getting into right till the day they want to just plan their future ahead. So yeah, I think we are in a good space. Right. So yeah, and I just also want to add to that Matrix Fight Night, you know, with every show we're just growing leaps and bounds and I think that's, that's pretty evident and very visible. Um, there is no MMA in India without Matrix Fight Night. Very true. Can I ask? You can ask the fighters as well. Our fighters are yes, also open for yes. questions. Please so, go ahead. So my question is to John. So John, this is your second fight in India. Yeah. The previous one was in Manipur in November last year. What is the difference between that event and here? This is much, much better. <laughs> 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 and I like Alan a lot as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. So you'll be facing Seth for the title fight. And no. Shrikant. Sorry. Co main event. Sorry, you'll Shrikant. be facing. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, Seth was just looking at me. So, <laughs> so you'll be facing Shrikant in the co main event. Uh, how's your preparation? Oh, pre preparation has been absolutely amazing. Like, we train with world class athletes and all the big organizations in Dubai. I've got my head coach, Milano, that we live in fight camp. You know, we don't go in and out of it. So, it's been really, really good. And I'm sure you're going to see something very special tomorrow. All the best. Just for your accent, brother, I want to give a lovely round of applause. I love the Irish accent. It's beautiful. Yes, right behind you, Rahul. Yeah, please. Thank you, everyone, for having us here. This is That Geek Punk from That Geek Punk Show. So I would just like to remind, Seth is on a three-fight win streak. Dark Convick is on an eight-fight win streak. So there's a lot more online than just the welterweight title of the world. So does that put any extra pressure on both of you? Shrikant to you and to Dark Convick, both of you. Aset, Aset and Dakimek, yeah, both of you. I'm treating it like just another fight, focusing on things I can control, putting my energy moment to moment, doing my best. In a way, it is different than any other fight because of the pageantry that's built around it, but I'm not letting that affect me. So I'm happy this is my 10th pro fight. That's a victory for me. And uh, I think the future will take care of itself. Um, one more thing, like, both of you guys have a great ground game. So like... Does that like a thing there, like you have to prove it, uh, to the other guy that you're better than him or like something like that? Like both of you guys to win by any way necessary. Good. 
Uh, hi guys, my Decide. name is Arham Irigesh. I fight in main event. I am very happy to fight main event for title. I am very happy. We are ready, inshallah. Uh, tomorrow we will show one of the best fights in the event, inshallah. <laughs> very happy. Hello. Uh, uh, my name is Jagdeer Singh. I am an interview TV show, ma'am. Aisa Ji, Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, I can talk to you in Hindi. Uh, Can we continue zarur. in Hindi? Yes, zarur. I understand That's it. Right. My Hindi is a little rusty. Yeah. Actually, uh, when I was coming in press conference, I met some of the fighters. And uh, they are passing time together, they are living together. So somehow they have become some friend, like, like friends. How they will f I asked them how they will fight each other when they, you have become the friend. Yeah, we're so, not all friends. So, <laughs> <laughs> so another question in my mind is that in Hindi belt, especially, people are not much aware of MF and uh, Matrix fight nights. So what are your plans for Hindi belt, your viewers, own hot star, those who uh, became interested in your fights for Hindi belt? What are you planning for that? So um, the interesting thing is, uh, if you see uh, fighters all over India, uh, the maximum number of pro MMA fighters come from the northern and northeastern side of the country. So uh, I think there itself you have part of your answer. And with regard to the other bit of it, uh, these uh, athletes are professional athletes. They are not street, uh, street fighters. They are highly trained. And uh, they bring all that skill uh, to a fight in the cage. Outside the cage, they are just normal guys and they can, they can be friends. But once the cage door closes, there's no more friends. And I'm talking about Hindi. There's also a Hindi commentary. And you'll listen to the Disney Hotstar. I'm also talking about Hindi. Our promos are also in Hindi. So for the Hindi belt, specifically, we are 60% Hindi. So even if our fighters don't talk about Hindi in that time, the commentary is also in Hindi. Yes. Actually, I think it's the fact that हम में से बहुत सारे लोग मीडिया के लोग जैकी भाई को अपना बड़ा भाई या परिवार का आदमी मानते हैं तो हमारे लिए ऐसा ऐसा भाभी जी हैं और कृष्णा और टाइगर हमारे लिए बच्चे जैसे हैं तो हमारी शुभ कामनाएं हैं हम बच्चों के लिए कि जिंदगी में आगे करें इसीलिए मैं मैं हिंदी बेल्ट से हूँ मैं मेरठ ये सेम टाइम पर होगा हम यही चाहेंगे फिर यही आपका सपोर्ट आ जाएगा है ना हाँ I have a question for Dan sir and Alan sir even you can answer this at this press conference and even at this event we have a Russian representative from GAMF so does that mean Russian fighters are going to be a part of MFN or MFN is going to Russia can you let some more cats out of the bag please <laughs> I think uh, what we are going to do with Russia is still very secretive and uh, but definitely if you see a, a Russian international sitting in the front row there's definitely something coming up with MFN so I'll just leave it at that and uh, just to answer Mishra ji Mishra ji aap bol rahe the Meerut ke patthe hamari Jagjit Singh sorry Jagdish Singh Ji, we will talk about the first row of the Merit. So, we will have a Merit in the first row. So, we have sat in all places and we need the support of you that you can see Bollywood with the MMA because Jackie Dada is a promotion. Did you have to ask me a question? Yes.